everyone, it's Monique Bumo. We're going to about saw. I wanted to come to you today because it was National World Kidney Day the other day. So I wanted to just talk to y'all about um, kidney awareness and the different things that starts with kidneys. Hey everyone, it's Monique Kidney Wolf from Beauty Glam Bar. So I wanted to come to y'all today, and if this is your first time tuning in, my name is Monique Wolf from Beauty Glam Bar. I own the only elite wellness and luxury uh, spa and wellness center in North Decatur. Hey, how you doing? And today I wanted to talk about a very, very important subject to me. One that God had told me that this is one of my purposes for being on this earth is about uh, teaching awareness for kidney failure. I lost my mom to kidney failure. I lost my grandmother to kidney failure. I lost my uh, great aunts to kidney failure. My favorite cousin is on dialysis. My brother is on dialysis. My cousin is about to get her uh, transplant. One of my cousins in Philadelphia, she has had a kidney transplant. So when I saw that today was National Kidney Day, I said, oh, this is um, what I'm supposed to be uh, teaching on today the awareness because God told me that I'm supposed to be making a nonprofit organization to teach people about the gateway to kidney failure which is diabetes which is high blood pressure so I wanted to come on here and just give y'all a little bit of knowledge about ways that we can prevent kidney failure and how we can um, you know start it by we're working on our diabetes, working on our eating, working on our um, choices that we eat and things like that. So um, I did a post that said, will you eat to live or are you living to eat? See me, I eat to live. Um, I've always been that type of person. I'm eating to live. If I'm not hungry, I'm not going to eat. So I'm eating just because I'm hungry. Okay. So um, once my mom passed away from kidney failure, um, <laughs> congestive heart failure, uh, amputation, all of these things comes when you have kidney failure. Like I said, diabetes, high blood pressure, heart attacks, strokes are the gateway to kidney failure because they start messing with your kidneys. Your kidneys are very important because they are going to release the toxins out of your body. When your kidneys are not working anymore, the toxins are staying in your body. Which is going to start messing with your uh, organs and different things like that. My mom, like I said, she was a double amputee before she passed away. She was only on dialysis uh, two and a half years before she passed away. My grandmother was on it maybe 14 years. They had gave her six months to live. However, my grandmother did live 14 years on dialysis. My brother is struggling every day to live a... Um, a quality of life because he's a double amputee as well he has had um, probably 12 so many strokes he has had seven to eight heart attacks and um, you know those come from the blockages with the choices of the food that we um, eat you can have blockages in your heart uh, he has you know uh, his heart is not strong and all of these different things like I said my favorite cousin she has fought for to live longer than her mom. Her grandmother died at 57. Her mom died at 57. My cousin is going to be 48 years old this year. She said she's going to live a longer life. She's going to break the curse. That's exactly what I told my mom on her deathbed when they had um, told her she had end-stage renal disease. Okay? So, I told my mom, I said, I'm going to break that curse of our family because it is a generational curse that has taken all of my family. Not one, not two, not three, not four, not five. All of my family. And so I don't have that. I have my dad's side of the genes. You know, good thing I do have my dad's side of the genes because my dad's side, we have longevity on my dad's side of the family. My mom's side, they're gone. I don't have a lot of family on my mom's side. They're dead. And so um, we have to start being doing preventative. Thank you so much, uh, Trey. We have to, uh, Latara, we have to... Um, we have to start first with our eating habits. That's why I'm coming in harder, harder, more and more with information about eating alternative foods so that we don't have to eat those foods that they are pushing at us. See, I cook a lot at home. You know, I don't do a lot of eating out. The reason you saw me gain a little bit of weight was uh, back in November, December, I was hanging with a millionaire, which eats out all the time. I don't do that. That's not me. I don't eat out all the time. But because I was hanging with my mentor and we was, you know, spending all this money eating out, that's how I gained the weight. Because I saw it. I said, I'm gaining weight. Now I'm back at 150, which I'm getting ready to slim back down some more. But when I start cooking back at home and when I start 
doing what I'm supposed to do, eating the alternative foods that I'm used to eating and not eating out because you don't know what they're putting in your food. That's the first thing. You're not in control of the food when somebody is preparing your food. When you prepare your own food, you are in control of your food. And, uh, you know, I put Himalayan salt. You know, I don't use, uh, sometimes I eat cauliflower. Uh, like I said, turkey, a ground turkey. Like just having leaner meats and different things like that. I used to be vegan, y'all. And I stopped because it's a lot of work. <laughs> I used to be vegan. I did the Dr. CB diet. So I'm a very, very... Um, knowledgeable when it comes to wellness and being a guru for real of wellness i was doing dr cb diet back in 2016. i was talking about the uh cmos back in 2016 and uh 2015. so all this stuff that we talking about now in 2022 i've been doing it i've been doing it. a lot of stuff that uh i see a lot of people doing it i've been a, i've been a, ahead of the curve you know what i'm saying so it don't really phase me the new trends that are out here because i've been there i've been doing it so um I just wanted to come on here just to let people know about the awareness. Let's start checking our blood sugar more. Uh, let's start checking our blood pressure more. Like me, I have low blood pressure a lot of times because I'm not a person that takes in a lot of salt all the time. Plus, I don't eat a whole lot. Like, I'm drinking my boost shake now. I don't eat a lot. Like I said, I only eat like one meal a day. Um, I start eating uh, the Smart Balance little cranberries and nuts and the little cheese and different things like that which cheese is still not even good for you either but um i don't beat myself up when i do something that's not like totally healthy because those little small wins as long as you're changing your mindset about food that's all that matters to me i don't think we have to be perfect and eat every day green leaves and things like that but i'm about to incorporate my kale back into my uh diet i used to eat kale salads with uh, grilled chicken cut up in it with a little avocado oil i love garlic powder and a little bit of uh black pepper and parmesan cheese is really good with the kale salad um, so I'm getting ready to incorporate that back again because like I said, we're almost back at summertime It's about to be summertime again. I like crop tops. I like little, you know, mini dresses I like, you know, skin tight clothes and stuff like that So I don't want to be looking all crazy in my clothes, especially I'm getting ready to go back to, um, you know, another um, Tropical place Puerto Rico in June for my friend's birthday and so I gotta be looking snatched So I'm on a mission. Um, I hope that y'all would get on the same mission with me to get healthy but to also you know to start having healthier choices when it comes to your food so today is kidney um a wellness awareness day national kidney day um i have my uh virtual assistant creating my post now it's going to be absolutely amazing she's almost done with it i started on it and i was like let me get her to add the extra little pieces of the information because it's all about adding that value uh to people so that they can understand and know a lot of things that i be saying like like i didn't know that i didn't know that good so continue to follow me because i'm gonna keep coming up with more things to teach and educate you about health to educate you about uh the choices that you are making when it comes to your food and also to just have a better quality of life that's the reason that i started my spa that's the reason that i started my wellness center was for people to have a better quality of life that was what i wanted to um you know really uh show in my uh work because like i said i lost my mom my, and my dad my whole family has died because of health issues my dad on the other hand he didn't die because of health issues he died because of the choices he made in life so that's a little bit different that's why I, you don't hear me say too much about me about being sad about my dad i'm sad that i lost my dad but he put himself in that predicament my mom did not you know we have a heredity of kidney failure in our in our family we have a hereditary of uh, uh, high blood pressure and heart disease in our family. Like I said, this is a cycle that has been going on since before my uh, grandmother. All of my family has died to kidney failure. So, um, you know, I just wanted to come on here, give that awareness, give that knowledge so that y'all would know, make better choices with y'all diet. Um, even if you just cut back one thing, just change one thing instead of eating beef all the time. Do your ground turkey. Like, I eat ground turkey all the time. That's why I made the recipe yesterday and put it up there for y'all. Uh, posted that recipe that I had found um, about the ground turkey meatballs. It's always alternatives. You know, like I was trying to tell my cousin who's on dialysis, I was telling her, eat cauliflower. Oh, no, cauliflower tastes terrible. No, it don't. It's a mindset. If you put some garlic powder, like, baby, I done made some dog on jerk 
some uh, jerk cauliflower rice, baby. Y'all don't know nothing about me. Put that jerk seasoning in that cauliflower with your jerk chicken on the side. Mm -hmm. Talk about something good. I'm trying to tell y'all. So you have to change your mindset. It's all about the mindset. You have to psych your mind out a lot of times when it comes to food. Like I love sweet potatoes. Like I said, I used to do Dr. CB diet with the purple sweet potatoes and all of those different things like that. Purple sweet potatoes are actually good. I need to get back on it with my squash and all of that stuff. Uh, and you can actually, you know, uh, air fry your squash so it can be crunchy. Like a lot of times I like more crunchier vegetables and things like that. That's why I like my vegetables raw because I like them in their um, natural state. I realized that at an older age because I didn't eat vegetables at all when I was younger y'all like seriously I don't even know how I'm still living I never ate vegetables for over 25 years I didn't eat vegetables and so um, as I've gotten older um, and then seeing my mom pass away and things like that and then seeing my brother on dialysis and seeing my favorite cousin on dialysis and seeing her lose her mom and seeing one of my aunts she's on dialysis uh, and different things like that and then also my grandmother she was on dialysis but she was also had to take little pills to uh you know, it's different types of diabetes. It's different types of kidney failure. It's different types of ways to get to kidney failure. Your diabetes, you could be type 1 or type 2. Type 1, um, I want to say, is the one that you take the pills. Type 2 is the one you take the insulin. So it's different ways. So I don't want to do none of it, okay? I don't want them to ever diagnose me and say, oh, you got... You know, you got something wrong with your, uh, you know, with your glucose. Because that's what diabetes is. With your glucose, either you're making, you're producing too much glucose or you're not producing enough glucose. Like me, sometimes I have low glucose. I have low glucose, so sometimes I'm kind of lightheaded. I'm kind of dizzy. I'm kind of, you know, shaky and different things like that. So I have the opposite from my mom. I don't produce enough glucose sometimes. So I have a lower glucose level in my body as opposed to my mom and them. Um, they had more of a a higher glucose level which is you have to watch your carbs that you eat um, I remember my mom when her blood sugar and stuff used to go low she'd be like give me an apple you know give me some applesauce and things like that because she had to boost her carb level she had to boost her sugar level I've seen my brother uh, sugar go to a thousand I actually saved my brother life several times <laughs> to be exact of, of, of going into a diabetic coma uh, when I was 14 years old so these are things that are near and dear to my heart this is not nothing that I don't know about my mom she got diagnosed with uh, diabetes right after she had me right after she had me so that's one of the fears that I have about having a child like people don't realize like why well, I don't have a child and mo I might not have uh, that diabetes that might come to me but I don't want to have the chance of them telling me you have diabetes because you have had a child I'm sorry that's just my mindset that's just the way I feel my mom after she had me that's when she got diagnosed with uh, diabetes then my mom had it 31 plus years of you know being on um you know insulin and different things like that which in turn start messing with her kidneys which in turn start making her have water retention which in turn started messing with her heart all of these things are the gateway to kidney failure so like I said I'm going to be starting my nonprofit organization because this is something near and dear to my heart I'm very knowledgeable in it and um, I feel like this is really one of my purposes for being in this world I ask God all the time what is my purpose for being here I ask God all the time, what is my purpose for being here? And so that's one of my purposes. That's one of the reasons that I still live. Y'all don't realize, like, I go through a lot of depression. Y'all don't realize, like, I'm crying last night because I miss my mama. Y'all don't realize, like, I'm going through a lot. And it's on a, a more of a, a spiritual warfare right now. I got a lot of people attacking me. I got a lot of things attacking me. I got a lot of things coming against me right now. But, um... As I sit back and I have to encourage myself and I sit back and I have to talk to God. He tell me that my purpose, I have a purpose here. And my purpose is to help others to not have to go through the loss of losing another loved one or having somebody that has amputee or seeing their family deteriorate because of kidney failure and different things like that. So, um, 
this is something that I know that I really have to implement. I have to execute before I leave this earth. I have to start my Annie Kane Kidney Foundation. That is my great great grandmother's name. The Annie Kane Kidney Foundation. It will be known to the world soon, very, very soon, because I already have the name. I just need to write out the rest of the business plan for the nonprofit organization and really go ahead and just do it because I've been talking about it too long and I need to go ahead and do it because God put this in my heart and it's something that I know that I have to do. It's not something I want to do. It's something that I have to do. So y'all choose to live to eat, uh, eat to live, not live to eat. Okay. Choices are what God has given us, give us choices, but the choices that we make can either make us or break us. So when you start saying things, I remember they told me I had a weak heart one time. Y'all used to smoke. They told me I had a weak heart. What did I do? I stopped smoking because I was wheezing. I was struggling to breathe at night because they told me I had a weak heart. They also told me I had uh, leaky valves in my heart. I don't receive those things because it said that God is the healer. It said that by his strikes, I am healed. And I know that God has healed me of those things. And so I don't even receive that. I have been diagnosed with fibromyalgia. I don't receive those things anymore because you know why? I changed my eating habits. I changed the way that I eat. And see, when you start changing the way you eat and you start researching what them people in them streets trying to tell you, the pharmacy, the, the, big, the big pharmacy, you know, because it's all about money. And you start realizing that God has given us every seed and every herb to heal us. He has given us every single thing that we do not have to take any medication. I think that the world will shut down the big pharmacy, but we can't, you know, we can't do that because we're in this world now where we have been mind control. See, I thank God that he did not have me to be mind control, that he had me to be a free thinker, that he had me to not go with what people tell me to do, but go and research and see what I can find the solution for on a natural and holistic way. That's my whole belief, holistic and natural. And so that's why, you know, you see me, I'm 42, that's correct. You see me and I'm healthy. You see me and I'm doing what I need to do to live, to uh, eat to live, not live to eat. Okay, hey, how you doing? So we have to change our eating habits. We have to start researching these herbs like black cumin oil. Okay, that's one of those secret oils. Now everybody's talking about it. Black cumin oil, I've been new about black cumin oil. It also heals cancer. So you have to research these things. Stop listening to these doctors. Thank you so much. You have to stop listening to these doctors because the only thing they want is your money. Like I said, they told me I had a weak heart. I do not receive that. I don't have no weak heart because God is going to strengthen my heart. He always is going to strengthen my heart. But these are things that the devil tried to put in your head because my mom had congestive heart failure. I used to think that I was going to die because of a heart failure or uh, because I have congestive heart failure. I used to think these things. Then I stopped thinking about these things and I started trusting in God knowing that he's going to heal me. Knowing that God has already healed me of all of these illnesses and all of these uh, ailments that they have tried to put on us. They try to put so much on us. So, like I said, today is National Kidney Day. Go out there and make better choices. If you have high blood pressure, start using uh, Himalayan salt just a little bit. Or start using Mrs. Dash. Or if not, just put some garlic powder, baby. You don't have to have salt. i always been that little girl that never had salt on my food. I never liked salt anyway. So, it was easy for me to eliminate white salt out of my... Um, out of my diet you know what i'm saying i use himalayan pink salt sometimes and actually i haven't even been using himalayan pink salt i just use garlic powder onion powder and i use a little bit of black pepper in my food and of course a little bit of old bay here and there if i have you know something um seafoody like but other than that that's all i really put in my food i don't use no white salt period because that right there can bring your blood pressure up. And I try not to get angry. Because see, that's my problem. When I get angry, my blood pressure will be normal 97 uh, over uh, 80. I have like really, really low blood pressure. But let somebody make me mad. My blood pressure is going to 127. My blood pressure is going to 130. And then I'm feeling kind of crazy. Because I'm like, oh my gosh. Which, which you know, the norm is 120 over 80. But when I see it at 131, I'm like, oh no, no, no. I'm hysterical. Because my blood pressure is never that high. Unless somebody pisses me off. So that's why I don't have no boyfriend. That's why I don't want to be around a whole lot of god doggone people. That's why I stay to myself a lot. And I don't have time for people to make me have my blood pressure to go up. To start messing with my kidneys. Then at the end, 
I'm on dialysis. See, these are my fears. So that's why I know why I uh, isolate myself from a lot of people. That's why I do the things that I do because I want to live longer. I want to live longer than my mom lived. I don't want to go on dialysis. I don't want to have a big needle in my arm this big. I don't want to have a fistula. I don't want them to have to put together two pieces of my vein and push me with a big thick thick needle in my body i don't want that i don't want that for myself i don't want that for you so i'm going to be the advocate to teach people about these things to teach people about these things okay so that's what it's all about in my life that's what i'm all about national kidney day you will hear the annie kane kidney foundation very very soon you will hear it, okay? So be look, be on the lookout for it because it is going to be in the honor of my grandmother. It's going to be in the honor of my great-grand-aunts. It's going to be in the honor of my mother. It's going to be in the honor of my brother, which he is still alive, but he is struggling every day to live. He is struggling every day to live, okay? So I'm getting ready to meet these people um, to collab with at the uh, Roundhouse Kickboxing at my spa. So I will talk to y'all later. I love y'all so much. Just just make better choices when it comes to your food because it says you reap what you sow so if you put bad things in your body you're gonna sow something bad in your life so choose to you know live a healthier life i love y'all so much smooches always remember to keep god first